Item number SCP-2489. Index, a political machine. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-2489 is currently submerged in a natural tar pit, integrated into a containment chamber. Containment area 09 has been constructed around it to facilitate containment. Due to the fact that SCP-2489 is able to dig through the tar at a rate of 100 meters per day, additional materials such as wet cement have been introduced to the containment pit in order to slow SCP-2489 down. It is currently estimated that there are 1,090 days left until additional measures will have to be taken to prevent SCP-2489 from breaching containment. In the event that SCP-2489 breaches containment, Foundation agents are to move to pre-designated locations in order to head off any potential appearances by SCP-2489. Agents embedded in major media sources are to suppress any reports of SCP-2489 activity, and a Foundation front company called Samson Chemical and Petroleum blamed for any ecological damage. At no point should SCP-2489 be allowed to access SCP-2147-A. Any attempts to exhume the grave of Napoleon Bonaparte Broward are to be blocked by Foundation agents in the Florida judicial system. Image SCP-2489 Description SCP-2489 designates a two-part object. SCP-2489-1 is a humanoid entity resembling Napoleon Bonaparte Broward, which has been sewn at the hip to the seat of a dredging device. SCP-2489-2 used during Broward's tenure as governor to drain the Everglades wetlands. The lower half of the body is protruding from beneath SCP-2489-2. Broward, 19th Governor of Florida from January 3, 1905 to January 5, 1909. SCP-2489-2 is fully autonomous and is able to perform normal dredging operations. When able to move freely, it will go to the largest body of water within approximately 20 kilometers and begin to dredge up the sediment. The water level will begin to decline as SCP-2489-2 absorbs the water into its mass through an unknown process. SCP-2489-1 is inert at this time, apart from rapid eye movement and spastic twitching of the facial muscles. After this is completed, SCP-2489-1 will violently expel liquid water in a quantity roughly equivalent to what it absorbed. This liquid is severely contaminated due to the presence of mercury, lead, and other impurities. Before ejecting the liquid, SCP-2489-1 will usually attempt to utilize the control panel to disable SCP-2489-2, frequently to the point of injuring itself. This does not appear to impede SCP-2489-2. Following this, SCP-2489-1 will sit up and begin to give several speeches, speaking with an amplified voice. Usually these speeches will be similar to those Bonaparte gave during his gubernatorial campaign, including repeated references to draining the Everglades. SCP-2489-1 will repeat its speeches in English, Creole, Spanish, and French, and then return to inactivity. The content of these speeches does not always match the historical record. Analysis of aberrations in these speeches show repeated uses of words like brim, edge, and chasm, and repeated degrading references to environmentalism and environmental protection. SCP-2489-1 also appears to be in favor of forest fires. SCP-2489 was discovered on 04-22-1970 after it became active in the Florida Everglades and caused significant damage. Exhumation of Broward's tomb has indicated that a corpse is still there, which has identical DNA and matching dental records. 
in addition. Damage done to SCP-2489-1 will have corresponding wounds appear on the body, although the opposite does not occur. It is unclear if Governor Brewitt's corpse was disturbed prior to the existence of the SCP-2489 anomaly.